or your data structure class at your present class everything you do at your computer in fact uh, that is not to be done in today's technology uh, in the last five six years you you should have created one small hello world app that uh, hello world app should run from your uh, mobile phone you it should have apps it should have an android app it should have can be web app and it should run from your desktop with internet connection hello world if the internet is not there then it will respond that internet is not there this is the basic simple thing we will start the app why because uh, we know now as a computer science uh, student whenever you come out after two years or three years everybody is expected that uh, you you should not run a program on your computer only uh, that is the capable of c or java is because why you are learning python because we should be able to run app okay so that is the uh, strength of python why the people are nowadays still in business uh, more maximum uh, programming language is used in java i told you because java is some traditional good application has already been made like banking whatever banking application you see it various our bank there's a mainly java and spring is their platforms java spring you should probably have heard of it you should know all this then you should in fact i also know not very early so it's a java spring is a is a back end architecture java is a basically back end technology java does not play with your front end though there's a concept of those who come already know of java there is a concept of applet but applet is for only demonstration only nobody is use applet java applet everybody is using java script there uh, to two totally different language so java is using the totally back end now python is a great competitor of uh, java uh, the job because i know that you know that python has all the flavor like c is mainly for procedural programming what is procedural programming like you, you yourself think as a very super for computer and you have a cpu on your demand and you write uh, quick functions into into it and call repeatedly the function that is good for very computation intensive like if you have a matrix calculation or uh, seismological data compression that is uh, still the best and there is a libraries are available some traditional programming language maybe fortran and all this are available there but whenever the you want to program or simulate in real time event you need a, a classes object object will class means uh, a template and object uh, the, are like our i am a object i have object of teacher class here object of student class we are message passing each other we are you have some method we i am try, trying to simulate your knowledge gathering method like all these things like whenever a lot of interactions are there then the object oriented programming is the best and java is a purely object oriented programming and uh, java is very good at it but java doesn't have procedural programming uh, and this but c++ have both procedural and object oriented programming that is the reason c++ is really really valid c without c++ there no use so if you only no c uh, start lighting c++ to that it because there is a good demand for c++ knowledge and java is because it is now with oracle it is not open source nowadays some some limitation is there java spring is the framework that heavy anything you want to know applications you want to uh, make applications on java you know like here i am again again telling that python with flask or python with django they are the java with java spring yesterday one of your senior 2017 he is starting up a uh, starting up a, uh, a new uh, new company he asking for uh, some uh, students from you um, with a with a payment is a stipend based there is some they are making uh, back end is java and front end is react and all these things so we'll come to this and this is now the trend of the technology now some of you probably i have seen probably some of you yesterday's lecture they are they are uh, they are giving lecture on uh, another uh, this front end engine that is uh, called angular angular is a very good framework from google angular or this is been angular and there's another very competitive uh, framework is uh, this uh, our react so uh, why these are the new names because th this is the new world Uh, no one particular company giving all the solutions uh, so every company has his own thing and now the open source world google 
Google is supplying most of it, but not all. Like uh, Google is supplying uh, Go language, but anybody also difficult to touch Go language because again it's Google specific. Then the Python is nobody's language, so that is the reason people are um, writing code in Python or C++ because it cannot be go to any particular company. Mm, then we know the front end. The HTML is good, uh, but it is only increase, decrease font and certain uh, changing color. Uh, if you want to make a group of front end page to be changed, then the cascading style sheet. And the better is if you want to make any animation, certain things, which is the JavaScript. So JavaScript is the front end, and here is the, the Python end, like I have told you, Java Spring. Uh, here is a Flask is good and another is Django. We will discuss about between Django and Flask and uh, that's it and uh, that's yesterday lecture some of this Angular and rest. So today uh, basically we, we are basically any topic from the Python uh, we can start uh, we can see then Python versus JavaScript no conflict at all. Uh, JavaScript is only front end. Uh, Syntax is more like C, C++, Java. It is uh, and Python is our uh, middle level language. Uh, React and Angular is basically your animation on your front end so that your application can be run on your Android app, on iOS app. So I, I, I forgot to mention two other things that is uh, uh, Flutter uh, or Kotlin. The Flutter is one particular language. Uh, that you can develop app and that is a cross development tool both Kotlin and Flutter from Google so you can make an app which will run on your Android phone or if you have iOS phone anywhere so your same effort will be there so uh, it will be uh, our target in the next uh, uh, next 15 days to make a small project here because we already know good amount of Python so let's start uh, this thing let's start so this is uh, this is another. This is Django. It is it's a basically framework. Don't uh, be be fearsome. It is a nice, nothing like a, uh, either. I will start with Flask, and uh, then this is Django. This is the, like Java has famous famous Spring. These are the frameworks. Mm, this is React. This is from Facebook, but it is uh, it goes along with. Android and iOS and all. Uh, yesterday uh, we know the Angular. React is for good uh, small projects, medium level projects. React is good. Uh, it is uh, and their database. It can be MySQL free, MongoDB, NoSQL database, and all these things. So we will we'll touch and you can do the project. So these things we have done in the last class that. Uh, we have now know the three types of programming approach. One approach would be C that you are doing in data structure class as a procedural approach. Now uh, in Python if we have initiated the object oriented approach that is good for um, that is good for real time job, real time simulation and all and another approach is function based approach. Uh, Python is also uh, have some tools there like decorator probably you have heard the decorator uh, keyword yesterday's lecture it is very much it adds the functionality of a function by adding two three lines before that and after two three lines after that that is decorator mm, lambda mm, that is a single line function these are anonymous function uh, the function based approach is another strong approach uh, for different programming technique python covers all so this i have covered I have covered is that class. Last class we touched up on this. Uh, slides will be given. Uh, this is I will touch functional programming OPP. But uh, we will not much go details. Say uh, this all these things. Uh, our uh, main uh, programming nowadays will be more object oriented programming OOP uh, because any program which takes care of your button, mouse, and all, they are basically object oriented. JavaScript is uh, nothing but it is a, a script tag in the HTML page. Whenever the script and the underscore script, and this is the you the document get element by ID demo inner HTML. Whenever you press it, then the 
hello javascript will be run so here so whenever i'll press run it i run see see if i press it if you click me then this uh, the function within the function on click document get element inner html this hello javascript will print out if you if you just press it hello javascript which has been all been done by this uh, on click document get element id inner html hello javascript it uh, looks different but uh, this is a html file one good example is uh, the javascript uh, it is earlier done by html itself but html with some uh, programming uh, but it will not be secure because you know this all this element will be at the client space so any animation and all these things you should do by javascript this is now the standards that 
type is similar to uh, Java, that is a Python, but if it is a Java actually, then it will be circle. Okay, this is thing, and uh, again, this thing, uh, this, this, uh, this is is taken from uh, Java, and this self is from Python. Those who know that Java, it is a this is a bit mixture of uh, Java and little bit Python. Okay, so this is create a circle. Uh, this is a Python condition. You know all the this tab is very essential. I always tell four tabs. This is a colon. Uh, elif elif. Last one should be else. Here is else. If. This is I think pretty intelligent. Uh, else if doesn't carry so much intelligence, but elif means there must be an else at last. So this is a Python code. Python is done very very intelligently so that uh, by seeing the code you can uh, you can uh, see the code what is coming. It is a more like traditional and there is no use of uh, bracket bracket must be there but it may be here also it may be here also there is uh, indentation doesn't carry anything and uh, you know python indentation is everything okay so that's it uh, like python in range is like this common if colon is very vital uh, and here it is like a c or java the same thing javascript the benefits of javascript javascript is some all modern browsers so all browsers we know the internet explorer firefox and uh, chrome the all javascript engine is between they java always they carry javascript engine and all the your html uh, your android app or ios also so google uh, google created angular framework have to that is a good framework a very good robust framework for any app development web app or android or ios app Yes, that is true, and this is one kind of revision uh, because you already know C are almost end at the Python. Uh, some of if you have done uh, Java, why so many languages required? Because uh, a language is always required uh, for different kind of programming. If if you want to do a front end programming, JavaScript is good. Then Angular is too good. React is good. The front end uh, animation bit. Your animation should not be done at the back end because internet that that will create huge internet traffic. That will, internet traffic should be less, so the engine should be here at your browser, and that will that will create all the animation and game development. You have to know this one, and the back end should be your all business logic. The whether you are over 18 or over 21, that will be confirmed by you by the business logic. That will be done by the back end. Then the Python, Java, these things will be there. Uh, this is already know static and dynamic. You know the our Python uh, is uh, is a dynamic. That is the reason everything binding done as a uh, this thing. But C, Java, and the static programming type class. But Python is a strong type because though it is dynamic, but it will check. So uh, exceptions. It will not occur later. It will get occur earlier. In JavaScript, it is a weak. It is dynamic and also weak. So, this is uh, another interesting thing in uh, regarding the Angular and React. Last class, last lecture. If you have attended Angular, it is Google product. It is a robust product. And React also very popular product by Facebook because everywhere nowadays all the development work is done. Develop done by mainly three companies, either Google uh, or Facebook or Microsoft. Uh, they have all contributions there. So, uh, if any of you use the React or JavaScript with Python, that will be welcome. Uh, we have enough time for project, but whatever you can, uh, you don't have to use it also, but use Python. That is the first thing. Uh, Python based project, Angular, React. Uh, no need to this thing. Both are good. Uh, this thing. Uh, another this one is interesting because uh, whenever you uh, employ the python app this is dedicated to framework is this way. framework means uh, it is uh, the code how it the code will behave and all these things so we first recommend the flask uh, this is the very popular framework a uh, lot of our past students test it are using uh, flask uh, it will be good for web app or is android app another is django both are uh, good framework Java, you have a Java Spring. That's a good framework. So this is a frame. One framework you should try to learn. Uh, 
Yeah, that is a numpy. Numpy is much better than C array. Uh, then the uh, some deficiency of numpy is taken care of by pandas, and some deficiency of taken care of scipy. But scipy also takes scipy has to be loaded uh, with numpy also. So what the scipy does, scipy and there is scikit, uh, there is another scikit learn this thing. Scipy is mainly all statistical tools are available there. So uh, your numpy can give max mean average and your scipy give all statistical because uh, all the fit mate and all these things. Uh, I think I have some uh, scipy code. I uh, just check that here. So uh, have, you answered, have I answered your question? Scipy means because you know statistics. Say in nowadays uh, say distribution. How they say take it to a modern time, say, now they say virus, the alpha virus, delta virus, um, onitron, this virus, and how they are propagating and you have to model it and you need a lot of data is uh, coming and you have to put model then, the statistical model, how and what is R factor, this all, this is basically nothing but you getting data and uh, putting data in the statistical analysis and you have to see that what will be the data in next one month and all. So this is runtime statistical analysis. You you need a uh, certain tool so that not only maximum, uh, minimum, average or your mode, uh, uh, it doesn't suffice. You have to, in fact, uh, say this huge kind of data, say if you have a lot of transaction is going on, credit card transaction is going on, so you have to detect the anomaly in the transaction. So if you have a bank credit card number here you were staying in Kolkata but if, if the transaction happening is New York so this anomaly has to be runtime detected so it probably uh, it is probably not genuine you know, this thing so all this uh, huge data is generated and you have to uh, take this data and you have to statistical analysis and you have to think which are the data which are outlier that means which doesn't fit to the your profile that has to be detected and that has to be removed to you. So you always get some uh, in Google you see if you want to uh, log in from any other unknown terminal it will if it a two step verification is there it will come back to you. So all our machine learning tools are used in G Google Mail, uh, your Facebook everywhere they always try to analyze data. The SciPy is a, is a scientific python you can say. It's a scientific python and all these things are there which is at not numpy. I have some uh, scipy examples. I hope I have C1 Python Matplotlin. Yeah, this is scipy I have. Let's try. There is another utility is torch. Today I have not introduced a torch. Torch is a TensorFlow analysis and for any machine learning that is required. I am not going to torch right now. Torch and another is uh, PyTorch is there, another is TensorFlow 2. Do, torch is by the Facebook and uh, TensorFlow 2 is by Google. Uh, this is the... Sir, I have a question. Can I ask? Uh, please, after, after this. Not right now. I will take... I am answering right now. Devjit's questions and SciPy this. I'll I'll take your question. Don't be uh, not no, last. Sir. I'll 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 you will be given enough time. So this is the import SciPy and this is the SciPy version. Uh, from SciPy, lot of constants are there. So uh, of type all the constants are there. Print constant. Say this is liter. So what is the liter? Is uh, point zero zero one import constant like this. So all the constant definition of a real life thing are it is it is there like here gram metric ton grain all these things this is not in numpy that i want to answer you um, and this is the code from scipy uh, import constant so generally any constants you need your program you make it from import but these constants are available in some other packages also let's see length i am not going into this i try to find interesting uh, yeah this is the same thing i have 
simply mean uh, your uh, differential equation 